Welcome back to Virtualization How To. I'm Brandon Lee, and here we dive into the latest in virtualization, cloud, and general technology and trends. Today, we're tackling something that's got the virtualization community buzzing VMware's latest move with their VMware ESXi host client. But this is not just any update, we're talking a new desktop application. Yes, you heard it right. In an era where cloud-based web solutions seem to be the future, VMware is bringing us a bit of a throwback. But why? Maybe you remember the old C-sharp desktop client for vSphere 6. Is that what we're going back to? Well, stick around as we dive into this latest news about VMware's ESXi host client. We are all aware VMware now under Broadcom has been undergoing some major changes across the board. Recently, a VMware community blog post announced the beta release of their new VMware host client. Now, this new GUI for ESXi management is shaking things up a bit by not just being a web interface, but a desktop application for macOS Windows or Linux. If you're like me, you might be scratching your head wondering just a bit why the shift back to a desktop application in a cloud first web driven world. Well, let's dive into a few of the details and perhaps find a few answers to why VMware may be taking this as their direction for the host client. Well, first off, the current version of the VMware host client let's just say it's not been without its share of issues. From technological quirks about the ESXi host client to usability challenges, feature parity issues between uh, it and the vSphere client, VMware admits the current ESXi host client has been somewhat of a rocky road and the transition to this new and improved version is hoping to smooth over some of those current challenges. This new beta version promises basic but essential functionality with new features and functionality coming as time goes along for host and VM management, aiming to enhance user experience with a GUI reminiscent of the vSphere client. We're talking host summaries, VM management, live task monitoring, and other features. But here's where things get interesting. This desktop application isn't tied to a specific ESXi version like the current host client. So when you install a new version of ESXi, it has the newest version of the host client bundled. What that means is that this new beta version is somewhat future-proofed as it will allow connecting to both new and older versions of the ESXi hypervisor. So the big question remains though, in our cloud-centric era that's web driven is VMware's decision to launch a desktop application a step forward or a nostalgic step back? Well, could this be about offering users more flexibility or is it an attempt to address deeper issues with the web-based solutions? Or as some I have seen on Twitter have mentioned, pessimistically and rightfully so as all of us has seen so many monumental changes is this going to be a way for Broadcom to force changes on users or even licensing changes in the future? As VMware promises in the blog post to build on this foundation, they hope to add more features and future updates. So it's clear they're not abandoning this idea of moving the way of this desktop application anytime soon. But as the legacy host client moves towards deprecation, uh, this is a reminder of the constant evolution and churn within VMware as well as VMware by Broadcom. And the interesting thing that we're seeing in this case, what is old is becoming once again new. Now this is supposedly a new Electron based app, desktop application, which a lot of desktop apps, teams and others uh, in particular are written in and it's kind of the modern desktop solution. However, I, I really wonder, is this the right direction for the baked-in ESXi host client? I mean, it's really nice to 
automatically have that web interface to hit on a brand new VMware ESXi host. So you can start management, start configuration, start looking at uh, the host from that perspective. So it seems a bit odd, maybe seems a bit like a step in the wrong direction to deprecate the web-based workflow in favor of a desktop application. My mind goes back to the old C-sharp fat desktop client that we all used to have to use to administer our VMware ESXi servers. And it was such a pain to have to sit at a desktop maybe that you didn't have your tools installed on and you were like, oh man, I've got to install the vSphere C Sharp client before I can start administering this server. And the baked in ESXi host client just seemed like a much better solution for easy management and configuration. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think about VMware strategy with the new host client? Is this a wise move or is it a step in the wrong direction? Do you like having the VMware ESXi host client out of the box ready to administer and configure your VMware ESXi servers? Or are you looking forward to once again having a desktop application to connect to various VMware ESXi host clients? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And also visit the virtualization how-to forums where you will find experienced home lab aficionados willing to help with any home lab challenges that you may be facing. Well, stay safe out there, guys. Keep on home labbing, and I will see you on the next video.